The energy we process comes from waste. The energy from that waste goes directly to produce hydrogen from our syngas. Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. I'm Rachel Gregory. Groundbreaking technologies are turning waste into hydrogen in the fight against climate change. And here to tell us more about this is Rod Bryden, founder of Omni Conversion Technologies. Rod, thank you so much for joining me today. It is my pleasure. Rod, you founded Omni Conversion Technologies. Tell us how it got started and what it is that you do. Omni processes random waste that is unsorted municipal or other waste, but primarily uh, urban municipal solid waste, and in a single integrated manufactured unit, receives that waste and produces hydrogen at the other end. There aren't any air emissions in the process, and the solid portion of the waste becomes a saleable aggregate called Omni Rock, which gives a pristine treatment of municipal waste and provides hydrogen at something less than half the cost of producing the same amount of hydrogen from electrolysis. Can you tell us more about Omni Syngas? What is it and what are the benefits? Yes, Omni Syngas is the synthetic gas that is produced and then used as a feedstock as entry into the production of hydrogen. It can also be used to make synthetic natural gas as recombining a molecule of carbon with the hydrogen to make synthetic natural gas. The only reason one would do that would be to put it in the pipeline, which uh, so far is, are not able to take high quantities of hydrogen. Or the syngas itself can be used as a fuel where the end purpose is either operating a turbine or creating heat. The big advantage is that the energy in the syngas has a negative carbon footprint. That is, there's less carbon dioxide in the atmosphere arising out of the processing of the waste, which removes what otherwise would have become methane and the creation of a valuable fuel. When you combust that fuel, there's an actual negative carbon footprint. Earlier this year, you announced the first sale of the Waste to Hydrogen product that helps produce negative carbon hydrogen in California. Can you tell us more about this and what it means for the standard commercialization of this product? The purchase was to allow this technology to move immediately into market and it is being used by a company called H-Cycle, a development company in California, to process waste from a city yet to be named in California. They know where it is but it hasn't been publicly named yet and convert that into hydrogen which will be used to replace hydrogen in oil or biodiesel refineries where that hydrogen would otherwise have come from natural gas. That reduces the carbon footprint which is very valuable in California because they're used in the transportation sector. What are the differences in making H2 from Omni 200 GPRS versus electrolysis? What is the carbon intensity impact? Electrolysis first, as everyone knows, I'm sure we're listening to this show, is the process of taking water and passing electricity through it. And in the electrolysis platform, the hydrogen is separated from the oxygen, the oxygen is exhausted and the hydrogen is captured and you have pure hydrogen. If the electricity that is used is green, like solar or wind, then the hydrogen is green. And there is a very small carbon footprint near zero. In our case, the energy which would otherwise in electrolysis come from electricity, the energy we process comes from waste. The energy from that waste goes directly to produce hydrogen from our syngas. It does not go first to electricity and then to hydrogen. It goes from waste to synthetic gas and synthetic gas to hydrogen, just the way hydrogen is produced today from synthetic gas made from natural gas. So what we're really doing is we're substituting waste for natural gas in the production of syngas to make hydrogen. What is OmniCT's role in the energy transition? Where do you see yourself in the current and future energy mix? Well, the world is transitioning away from fossil fuel with CO2 released to the atmosphere. We play the role of taking waste that would otherwise have become methane, which recently has been identified as the most rapid impact of CO2 at this moment, and that the so-called fast track to getting to net zero is to dramatically reduce methane. So as we process municipal solid waste, we eliminate the methane that would have come and we produce a hydrogen, which today is only limited amounts can move by pipeline, but we're hopeful and expect that pipelines will wish to be the conveyor of hydrogen as they are today, the conveyor of natural gas. So as we transition to that, Omni will be allowing low cost hydrogen to be available with a negative carbon footprint, 
with the electrolysis at zero or very nearly zero, we also will be able to avoid the use of renewable electricity to produce hydrogen by using waste that would otherwise be a problem and a methane generator. Thank you so much, Rod. It was so great chatting with you today and learning more about Omni conversion technologies. Thank you for that opportunity. And thank you for watching another episode of Global Energy Show's 5x5 five five series. Be sure to like this video, share it to your networks and subscribe to our YouTube channels so you can see all of our new episodes. We'll see you next week.